The Arkansas State Police and a woman have reached a settlement in a lawsuit after a state trooper's attempt to pull her over ended in a vehicle collision. Part of that settlement includes a clarification on policy when it comes to pit maneuvers. THV 11's Frederick Price spoke with the woman's lawyers on the changes they were able to make. After Janice Harper's SUV flipped in a controversial pit maneuver last year, her attorney Andrew Norwood's first move was to seek a policy change. We reached out to the state police numerous times um, before we filed a lawsuit trying to amicably do this without without this, without, you know, without the lawsuit. But after getting nowhere and eventually filing a lawsuit against the state police, Norwood says the Arkansas Department of Public Safety and Governor Hutchinson wanted to hear them out. They wanted to know what we had to say. They, um, you know, we wanted policy change from the beginning. Um, they were receptive to that. Part of the state police's original vehicle pursuit policy states that the precision immobilization technique known as the pit maneuver should not be used on, quote, trucks with hazardous material, pickup trucks with passengers, vans, buses, or motorcycles. You could do pit on anybody else at, at, at that point, um, which which is a little scary, which is what, which is what you know, essentially led to uh, Miss Harper's situation. We in a settlement with the state police, Norwood says his client's car accident led to a change that he originally requested. ASP revised the policy that states, quote, the tactic should only be used when an ASP officer objectively believes other exigent circumstances exist, meaning this should only happen after tactics that don't prevent physical harm are unsuccessful. Norwood says he's happy he and his client were able to craft a policy that not only protects Arkansans, but allows state troopers to still do their job. If one person does not have to go through what Ms. Harper went through that night, the, the fear and anxiety, um, well worth it. Frederick Price, THV 11 News. Norwood, Norwood says all criminal charges against Harper were dropped. And late this afternoon, state police responded to the settlement saying they have consistently required troopers to apply that objectively reasonable standard they spoke about there. They'll continue to do so, they say. An internal investigation did find Corporal Dunn violated use of force policies in this case. He was disciplined, but state police tell us he remains on the job.